Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. This is the finale, the very last part of the main section story mode of this game with, with Kid Goku. So we are headed to Chao Castle, or the King's Castle. And this is where King Piccolo is, and he's ready to take over the planet, and we gotta stop him. Weakling. <laughs> now die. That's drum. There's Ten Shinhan. You. Goku, it can't be. So it was you, Tien. Look at Goku's sprite there, it's awesome. But I'm sure I killed you. Get out of here, Goku. Get out of here now. Oh, no, you don't. After slamming me like that, you're not getting off for nothing. We can't allow a fool like this to go on living. Drum, kill him at once. All right. Die. I don't know. You're going to die. So this is Drum. He's, he does a lot of teleporting like this. Whoa. But he's nothing like, you know, we dealt we haven't dealt with before. Nice. Ooh. Doing pretty good so far. Punches just feel like tickles. Or what does Super Saiyan 4 Goku say in the dub? The punches feel like tickles like a tiny feather. <laughs> oh, kicked him right in the head. I think that's what Goku does in the manga. He kicks him right in the head and his like eyes pop out. <laughs> Yeah, check out these new enemy types. <laughs> They're little dinosaur duck things. They're cool. Yeah, those are back. But you get some warrior types as well, and they look like tambourine. But these are supposed to be uh, King Piccolo's children. So he has King Piccolo. He has, what, three children uh, in this, this part. Like, obviously, he has uh, Piccolo, with, you know. I'm still not really sure if he'd like Piccolo's his child or if he's just like a reincarnation. But uh, it's Symbol, Tambourine, and Drum is who uh, we don't see Symbol in uh, in this game. Damn, yeah, those guys will block and they don't go down in like just one of your uh, your basic combos. Nah, we'll skip those guys. But yeah, this is one of the more uh, more challenging levels. If you think back to the Red Ribbon Army level, it's just like that. I would say that one is harder because they have the bullet guys. These guys are all just gonna like fight you like fisticuffs. There's no. Uh, machine gun bullets blasting at you like crazy it's a bit more manageable but uh it still comes with its difficulties for sure the martial arts uh, guys that look like tambourine yeah these guys they can be a pain in the neck yeah it's kind of a kamehameha here's the blue variant so obviously stronger Nothing up there. No, oh, just those guys. So yeah, this one's fun because there isn't... Um, we've already gotten everything, all like the secrets and whatnot. Whoa. A little bit of a glitch there. Some lag. You're taking too much ass, that's why. <laughs> but yeah, you just, your objective here, just like most levels, aside from secret hunting and treasures, 
you can just beat the crap out of these guys. Just go full out. Everything that you've learned up until this point, just unleash it on them. Break the these barrels yet. Oh well. <laughs> Invincibility, so it'll work. Yep, yeah, here's the blue variants. They're you know just stronger, do more damage. Doing pretty decent. Let's get him with the Kamehameha. Oh, and he drops a life. <laughs> Smash him right through the ground. Ah, oh, I can't. That'd be cool if I could launch myself up, still do a Kamehameha. Oh, what is this? Oh, there are secrets here. My mistake. Ah, you know what that is? Well, I guess it could be Piccolo's egg, but that's, it's the egg that for the eggs that uh, Demon King Piccolo spits out. Alright, end of the next section. Damn, that guy was blocking like crazy. You're getting a Kamehameha. For me, yeah, I feel like a complete Goku badass right at this point. Where'd you go? Just launched him right into. Uh... Oh, very nice. Ah, the Yajirobe sword. I think. Nice. I would have died with that coming on my house. Invincibility, okay. Get, oh, let me get both of them. Oh well. Nice, just cranking them there. <laughs> Got three of them. That one not die from that? Wow. Oh.
You see, he launched him up right there. That was crazy. I don't know how he did that. Damn. <laughs> see what I mean? Like, you're just. You feel like Goku. You're just hammering them. Okay. This is the final battle, guys. I'm surprised you made it this far. You don't know when to die. Yeah? I've come to knock you flat. You worm. Let me educate you about my power. That goes double for me. I will give you your death. Here we go, guys. Look at his health. Okay, we gotta we gotta focus on this one. our ultimate attack we didn't get him full blast with though but we're gonna have to utilize that a lot to take him down so right when you get your full energy bars just like that everybody has their own like super attack which is really cool so you can like have fun with them in the 1v1 matches ah oh, getting close to getting them with those here we go Nice. We did some damage there. That was good. We got 10 hits. Damn, that was intense. <laughs> We're getting you, Piccolo. This is for Krillin. This is for Master Roshi. Oh no. Look at that damage. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Okay. Sometimes that last hit I'm noticing, uh, it doesn't hit him. Nice. See? Uh. Nice, we got him huge with that. You see that? Look at that damage. Whoa. Damn. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this crazy air battle. <laughs> oh, yes! I got him with it right at the end. I really wanted to finish him with that, too. Perfect. I've never done it that close to the ground before. I didn't know if that was going to work. I felt like Goku there. <laughs> this is fun. Oh, this can't be happening. I'm putting all that I have into this fist. Oh, that's awesome. I, I won. Uh, how can this be? How can I have been beaten? He's won for now. But my legacy of this planet will survive. <laughs> King Piccolo was gone at last. Thus, by the power of a single boy named Goku, the world had been saved from the grasp of King Piccolo. Later, Goku asked Kami to restore Shenron, and then had Krillin, Master Roshi, and everyone else brought back to life. Now, Goku's adventures still continue on, but that is a story for another time. 
<laughs> there we go, guys. That is the end of the the Goku portion, I guess, of the Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure game. It's awesome. <laughs> and there isn't any explanation of who Kami is, so it's just like, Goku asks Kami to restore Shenron. It's like, it just, again, like I've said in a previous episode, if you were just diving into the series at first, like, who the hell is Kami? So, allow me to kind of explain that. Kami is God, the God of, of Earth. And they res he resides uh, up in the, uh, the palace in the clouds, so, or God's, God's lookout, Kami's lookout, whatever. Um, Kami means God. And he's up there with his attendant named Mr. Popo. And after Goku defeats uh, Demon King Piccolo, he, uh, he ends up traveling to Korin Tower, and then he gets a bell by Korin, and he says, Use the Nioibo and insert that in the top of the, the Korin's Tower, and it will launch him all the way up into the palace into the clouds. And that's what was the purpose for the Nioibo, and which I thought was such a genius thing to connect to, like, the story. Goku's been using that for the entirety of, you know, the show or the manga or, you know, even this game up to that point. And then Goku gets to Kami's lookout, and he ends up training with Kami and Piccolo. Oh, sorry. Kami and Mr. Popo. And, uh, yeah, Kami was able to see the good deeds that humanity could bring, because he was going to put an end to the Dragon Balls. But he says, no, like, I'll restore them. So he restores Shenron. And he... He allows Goku to be able to get the Dragon Balls and wish back Krillin and Master Roshi and, uh everybody who was killed by uh and chiaotzu as well so yeah it's really cool and then goku ends up training for three years <laughs> and then three years pass it's the 23rd tenkaichi budokai and ma jr piccolo jr he's there and you know that leads into the end of dragon ball and then dragon ball z starts up so yeah that was the end of it Nice closing music as well, and I really love how it shows, you know, Goku flying through, and then you get the, the airplane in the back and the nice sunset. Very fitting to the aesthetic of Dragon Ball. So yeah, this game was a lot of fun. You can now select Krillin in story mode. You can now select extra from the game menu. You can now select mini game from the game menu. You can do everything. <laughs> Save successful. Ah, there we are. So yeah, that's Dragon Ball Advance Adventure, guys. It's a phenomenal game. The first time I played it, I I don't think I stopped. I think I I sat through the whole thing. Play. It's not a long game, really. You could beat it in like a couple hours in the afternoon. But man, is it fun. It just flows really well. The controls are really responsive, and you feel like you're just beating the crap out of guys. And Unlike Final Fight and Streets of Rage and other beat em up fighters, this one is just, it's, uh, you know, you're on a single plane, so it's just, it's somewhat of a platformer, a platformer fighter, brawler, beat em up. And instead of, you know, in Final Fight and Streets of Rage, like you can walk up and down, left and right, and it's more of like a three dimensional kind of space, this one is just left to right, just fight. And I find that flows so well with a platforming aspect to it as well. It's amazing. So this game is highly recommended. Man, like, it's one of my favorite Dragon Ball games of all time. I love coming back to it. It's been quite some time since I've beaten this game. So I was happy to be able to do it on the channel. And yeah, I hope to do some more Dragon Ball videos. I have a new uh, capture card that I'll be able to even play some of the PS2 games and PS1. You know, and uh, I can even do the 360 games and, you know, the PS4 and, you know, the whole Dragon Ball era from, you know, Xenoverse 1, 2, Fighters, all that. But I I still kind of like the, the era of Dragon Ball games I loved was the Super Nintendo era up until the PS2 360 era. Um, Dragon Ball Kakarot, although is a, that is an exception, that game is absolutely phenomenal. That's the game I've always wanted. Um, another game that I, I love too is the Legacy of Goku series. And I feel like that 
it carries the RPG open world elements from that, and like it's more of like a pixelated top-down Zelda kind of vibe. But it, with Kakarot, it turns into this huge open 3D world to explore, and I freaking love it. It's fantastic. So be sure to check out some of my live streams I've done of Kakarot. I just did the uh, 23rd Tenkaichi Budokai, the DLC. That was really fun. I've just been doing some side quests on that. I'll have to hop back on that stuff. But yeah, guys, definitely check this game out. There are so many great Dragon Ball games out there, and I hope you you know stick around for the next ones I do. I have a Super Sonic Warriors game that I've done. I did a playthrough with Piccolo. That was super, super cool. That's a great game. Heck, I was even playing Super Sonic Warriors 2 in my tent when I was camping last weekend. <laughs> and that's, that's a lot of fun as well. So many great Dragon Ball games. I think I'll dive back into maybe the the first Dragon Ball game I ever played and do a video on that. So, uh, yeah. Again, guys, thanks so much for watching. And this is Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. Take care, and I'll see you next time.